G'day Scorpio, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under and thanks to all the returning people thank you so much for all your likes, shares and subscribes it's really appreciated <laughs> so we're going to do the love energy coming towards you today Scorpio see what's going on with that um, we're also going to close out with um, a couple of cards of advice for you and a message from the universe for you. <laughs> um, don't forget Times Fluid. So you may want to check out some other readings in my playlist to see if anything relates to your current situation if this does not. Um, also, this could be you. This could be someone else for cross watches sorry this could be you so this could be someone else um and this is just the love energy all right three cards for scorpio please for love energy coming towards scorpio Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh, someone's got romantic feelings for you, Scorpio. Ooh. You deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you are, Scorpio. You are lovable. And they think you deserve love. Ooh. And... Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's someone with self-respect. They know how to love themselves first, which is good. Very good. Mm, very nice. What's the, oh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. A romantic soulmate, because this is the romance deck. So... We have lots of soulmates, but this is a romance soulmate. Oh, but yeah, even though they are a soulmate, get to know each other. But make the they're going to make the effort. They want to get to know you. They're going to make the effort, but they're going to be looking out for red flags. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So possibly been hurt before. All right. Which a lot of us have. So, hmm. But they've got romantic feel. Oh, look at that Ace of Cups in the split. And four, oh, what's that? Yeah, Four of Wands. Wow, Ace of Cups and Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, romantic feelings. What are these romantic feelings they have for Scorpio? Ooh, it's a bit slippery. It's cold and rainy here today, on and off. Alright. Ooh, Hermit. And Knight of Coins. Okay. So they've gone within and thought long and hard about how these romantic feelings are affecting them and what they should do about it. And they're deciding to move forward slow and steady with stability. Taking very stable, slow and steady action. Also, they, the hermit is single. He's on his own. This hermit guy. So, someone who is single, has romantic feelings for you, has thought a lot about it and gone within, done some self-work so that they can come forward towards you with a steady offer and steady action. Mm. Two of swords at the bottom there. They're a bit undecided. They, they're hoping they can see clearly and... But they don't know what you're going to say. A 
They're trying to peek through the veil <laughs> with their little light, the hermit light, to try and see into the future as to what is going to happen. But yeah, they don't know how you're going to react, but. I think it's taken them a while to decide what to do. Page of Cups, so they are going to come in with some sort of love message and then wait and see how you react. Yeah, because they don't know how you feel about them. Okay, you deserve love. Why do they see that Scorpio deserves love? Okay, that was a lot. Oh, maybe not too much. All right, there's that page of cups again. That offer of love. Ooh, eight of cups. The magician. Two of cups. Justice. And the eight of coins. So, now this could be someone who offered a small amount of love in the past and you rejected their offer, so they're trying to manifest you back in for this Two of Cups and to balance things out with you and really put the work in this time. They also could be studying you. I'm um, also getting that they believe um, that it was justified that you did walk away before from their offer because it was only a page offer. That's why I think they're coming in with something more stable this time because they do want to manifest this love with you. So they do want to balance things out this time and actually put in that work and effort. Wow. Yeah, you may have rejected them in the past. Or rejected them the first time, but they're not giving up. <laughs> they're still trying to manifest you in. And they're going to do things right. They're going to put in more effort. They're going to keep persisting. Because they think you, they have the love you deserve. They think they can offer you the love you deserve. Ooh, two of pentacles though, two of coins. So there's some juggling here. They're trying to keep themselves balanced here. This, this is indecision again. Two of swords, two of cup, two of pentacles. Got two of cups as well. Here we have three of cups. They want this celebration to celebrate this new beginning with you. Oh, are they options though? I think they're just confused and they want things balanced and to invest in you. Hmm. All right. Love yourself first. So they've got some self respect. Tell me about that. Ooh. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so they've learned to love themselves first. First out was the Emperor, which is the bossed up. <laughs> then we have, ooh, Nine of Wands. Maybe they're tired of the one having to always stay in control and control everything. Mm, then we've got the Empress. So the Emperor to the Empress. But they're tired of having to control everything. They just want to create. King of Wands. Passionate action, but controlled passionate action. And the Four of Swords, they've had to heal. Oh, they're thinking about it. Uh, 
So they've, they've taken back control of their life because something was just exhausting them. And they're wanting to uh, create something and they're using their intelligence to take the right action. And they're thinking long and hard about this. They've had to heal possibly too from being so tired, exhausted, trying to control everything. But they seem to, that's just exhausted them. So now they want to create something where they're just... Controlling their actions, keeping that into control, and calming their mind. Yeah, this is the self work they've done on themselves. Because I think trying to control everything just tied them out. It left no room for creating. So they're going to control their actions while they keep that under control and calm their mind regarding. Have clear thoughts on what they want to create here. So that's the self-work that they've done. Which is good. And what's at the bottom? Oh, the tower. Shocking news, an epiphany, sudden change. Yeah, I guess this was a bit of a shock to them that it... Things didn't work out when they were trying to control everything. It just wore them out. But yeah, that this is a big change for them to actually put themselves first. And this would explain why they're undecided about them. Now, we've got judgment under the deck. This, so this could be someone that you already know that wants to reconcile. Or they just want a second chance because... It, Someone walked away from that first offer. And they could have been quite undecided about not seeing clearly here. Undecided about making this not offer again. They know you deserve love and they do want to offer that. But it appears they've done they've had a wake up call that's caused them to do some self work, but they do want to come in for this second chance. They're stronger now and they do want this new beginning. After holding back before. Yeah, they want to start close out the old cycle, start a whole new cycle with you, the world and the fool. Close out that holding back. Have the courage to come in and ask for that. Second chance. Wow. Alright, Scorpio. And else can you tell us? Cards, spirit, universe. What can you tell us about this love energy coming towards us? Scorpio. What else can you tell us? Three cards, please. holding a heart mm, a bit like the Queen of Cups this could be you Scorpio um, very loving and loving because it's there's no gender it's just it's the feminine energy which is woman it's the energy so it's very loving a sweet loving love oh first chakra Archangel oh Michael so it's the root chakra, very grounded, down to earth, can be animal instincts a bit here, but we'll have a look. And, oh, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Heart chakra, ooh. Uh, so, hmm, a bit of angel work here. What's at the bottom? Ooh, envy. That's interesting. Mm, envy. 
Goddess of the Moon, fifth chakra, throat chakra, caring connections. Ah, I think they're secretly envious of other people who talk about their great, great caring connections. There are there are other people's relationships. They talk. Other people talk about how great their relationships are, and they're hiding how much they're envious of that. Or they're envious of you secretly talking about your connection connection if you're with someone else. Oh no. There's an attachment here. To a happy ever oh, they've got an attachment to wanting this. Mm, possibly an unhealthy attachment to wanting this. Mm, they, they, oh the ears ringing. Yeah, envious about this um, and keeping it secret. All these other people talking about caring connections that they have. Oh, they want you. But is it for the right reasons there? <sighs> yeah, they've, it's got to come from the heart chakra. Not from um, what people are saying. Because what goes on behind closed doors isn't necessarily what goes on in public. Alright, tell me about woman holding a heart. Tell me about woman holding a heart. This love energy coming to a Scorpio, please. Okay, so we have strength, page of swords and ace of swords. So they're gathering up the courage, taming the beast, being strong. I think they're gathering up the courage to come forward because they've been watching you, <laughs> gathering information and wanting to know the truth about you. Or they're building up that courage. They've been watching you so they can come forward with some truth and clarity this time. They've made their choice here with the Ace of Swords, whereas they were a bit undecided before about, yeah, about coming forward. They're a bit worried. Oh, yes, they're very worried. Nine of Swords because of the past. Six of Cups. The rejection in the past. The offer that you walked away from. It, it's not necessarily an ex. It could be just someone who asked you out once and you said no. <laughs> and now they're going to try and ask you out again. Now that they've done a bit of work on themselves. But yeah, they're, try they're trying really hard to build up that courage to come towards you. Yeah, there could have been some restrictions in the past. Yeah, and some... Yeah, something wasn't right and something was very wrong in the past. And they did it came a, came across completely as someone toxic. Alright. Tell me about the um root chakra, first chakra of Michael. I've been Michael. What's this work that they're doing on their root chakra? All that they need to. Five of Wands. It's conflict, competition, inner turmoil, inner conflict. They're trying to stay grounded, but they're conflicted. And they could be definitely worried about competition. You having competition. Or someone else snapping you up before they do. Because you are their wish fulfillment. And they know it. That's what I got when I saw that. They know it. That's This is all they think about. Is you are their wish fulfillment. That's why they're stressing about coming forward. <laughs> um, but you are their wish fulfillment. And they're trying to love on themselves too. With love yourself first. That's that nine of cups. Which is emotional fulfillment within yourself. Um... But they're conflicted. They're worried about the competition because you are their wish fulfillment. They see you as everything. 
well, they're coming in to try again. They could be conflicted because they know that you might reject them again. Yeah, they definitely want this new beginning. Mm, they're feeling a bit stuck about how to come towards you. Oh, wow. I like that when the cards back up what I've already said. <laughs> All right, fourth chakra, heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. Tell me about this heart chakra work that they need to do. What they're doing, it's coming from their heart. Death. Transformation. So the, within their heart, they, they, they have transformed. They've let old things go and something new to to begin their heart's been transformed something's ended in their heart and something new has begun in their heart and there's that king of swords again logic more on oh no it's not because logic doesn't work with the heart <laughs> but they're feeling more balanced and they're being more truthful about how they feel in their heart. That's what's changed. With that hermit go, looking at their romantic feelings and how they feel. They've had to go in because they didn't yeah. They don't know they don't know how you're gonna react, I think, because they've done a lot of work on their heart. They definitely want things balanced, six of pentacles. They want to work with you on something. They want communication or to travel to see you. And they, um, want to boss up and have this Ten of Cups with you. Move to calmer waters. Yeah, and move on from this indecision of juggling. I mean, yeah. Emperor and the Empress. Well, I've got the Emperor and Empress there and the Emperor again. I think they want to feel like they're as stable and in control again of themselves with this Ten of Cups. I don't think they want to control it. Because they've learnt that doesn't work. They want to work with you and have it balanced. So you can both rule your world, <laughs> the world that you live in. Both rule together. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's an interesting person there. They definitely um, have done some self-work and they... Um, think you deserve love but they don't know how you're going to feel about their romantic feelings but they are going to um they're balanced in their heart mm, all right what's the advice for scorpio what's the advice for scorpio regarding this guilt okay so I, I'm guessing um, because you rejected their offer in the past don't feel guilted into um, accepting their offer this time you know just because of what I've said here doesn't mean anything don't do anything out of guilt you need to look at that within yourself let's get one more please for Scorpio what else do they need to work on or look at within themselves Perseverance and facade. And don't, per don't persevere with something that you know isn't real and isn't really what you want. No, you're only fooling yourself. If this is a, out of a guilt thing, you know that's a lie. I mean... Yeah, don't persevere with something that you know isn't right for you. You need to persevere with the things that you know are right for you. And the bottom of the deck here, we do have balance. You need to take yourself into account here, Scorpio. I'm not just trying to please others. 
I'm going to keep the pace here. Completion. Some things just have to end. Yeah, you have to use your wisdom in that. Keep yourself balanced. Yeah, so, I mean, it is just advice. So, look at what, you know, don't things do things out of guilt. Um, be aware of any illusions or facades, things, things that are not what they seem. Persevere with yourself, but don't keep persevering with something that you know isn't real, that you know you're doing out of guilt. Mm. Well, that's just something to look at. If you're, if you don't have those problems, all good. If there's something, you know, just take a look and go do a check in. If it's all good. It's all good. If you need to look at those things, well, maybe have a look at them. Yeah, self growth will bring in the right vibration of person towards you. So, what is the message from the universe from the soulmates cards? It's too many. For Scorpio. One message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. We have, we are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with the great source of light, whose love moves through the earth and stars. Okay. Hmm, so I guess it's um, getting back in touch with your, yourself and feeling blessed about yourself. Reconnect with the light, reconnect with the earth and the stars, reconnect with nature. At the bottom we have... The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life you experience. Thoughts are living energies that have an enormous influence on what you attract into your life. Think love and that is what you will attract. Yeah. So, you know, don't do these things on a guilt trip because that's all you're going to bring about is more guilt within yourself. Anything that's a facade, you need to let that go because you're only going to fool yourself persevere with what's correct don't persevere with these things surround yourself with love and light look up at the stars at night get out in the sunshine stand on the earth stand in, in the earth <laughs> yeah stick your feet right down into the grass <laughs> um yeah and look at how you think just you know Check in with yourself. It's always good to do. All right. Well, I'll let you read in for this week. Something different, eh? But, um, yeah, we'll do another one soon and see what's going on. And hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, good luck with this person. If you want them back, all good. They're coming in again. If not, well, it's up to you. <laughs> Okay, alright, all the best, take care and I'll catch you later.